Hello and welcome to my newest Let's Play Quest RPG Brand's Journey for the Game Boy Color. Now, this was, um, this, this is, um, an adaptation of the original, um, N64 game, Quest 64. And, um, although, um, it's, it's expanded to have a few new things in it, as well as an expanded storyline. So, whew, I'm, right now I'm just tired because, um, I've been recording and re-recording so many times because I felt like things were just messing up all over the place, but I think, I think that was just one of my other programs giving me a really hard time. But yeah, I'm fi finally getting this thing done. Anyway, Quest 64 was the fifth. N64 game I ever owned, first being Super Mario 64, second one being Diddy Kong Racing, third and fourth being Star Fox 64, and Blast Core. And I remember getting that game um, for my birthday, and I played it for the very first time on a stormy day, and um, the music in the game was very, was very soothing. I was really relaxed by that music. But I didn't have the memory card at the time, so I couldn't go very far. So. A anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started right after this intro ends. And this, this guy will be Brian. He is our character for the game. It's a giant frog-like monster, or something, I don't know. We'll never know because we just defeated it outside of battle. So yeah, we have monsters invading the monster and everything. Usually when monsters invade a place, it's usually a bad omen. Monsters, I guess, usually keep to themselves. And it is Bart. He is Brian's dad. Brian is an apprentice spirit tamer. Well, I think um, Bart. I think Bart is a master spirit tamer. And we'll rest it up. So yeah, this is basically the prelude to whatever, um, to what goes on in, um, in Quest 64. So yeah, a special book has been stolen. Some of y'all who have played the game know what it is. So we got a good time search for some clues on the whereabouts of the book and the people who stole it. But first we're going to go off to the left here. And here's Bart. Alright, let's take this little thing. This is a stray spirit. Now. You can um, attach a spirit to any one of these elements to increase the power of that element. Fire is what I plan on going, maxing out. Water and wind, I'm going to be leveling those up for healing spells. And earth, I'm going to be leveling up to get a very special uh, magic spell that is very useful. Actually, there's a couple of magic spells that are really useful with, with the earth spell, but I'll show that to you later. Let's power up just water and wind right now. We'll power up water. I'm going for the healing, um, my first healing spell. Now, unlike the first Quest 64 where you just simply level up one spell and got, um, and, and got new spells, some spells are based, are formed, are made as a result of two different elements.
like healing would be water and wind. So I'm going. So in instead of quest 64, um, you know, like collecting seven water elements to get um, um, to, to get to get the spell, you're going to need a combination of wind and water elements. Y'all say anything useful? No, uh, y'all yeah, just talking stuff. This will be the end. We'll be healing up there. This is the wing shop. Where we get our wings. And actually let's go do a little exploring in the town. Sometimes there's treasure chests in the houses. And everyone's got names here. I mean it's not random townsperson A or townsperson B. They actually have names here. That's pretty good. All right. See, so yeah, we'll be going to Connor Forest later. Is there anything in here? No. So this happens to be my road city. That girl doesn't get out very often. Let's go check in here. Okay, there aren't any treasure chests here. And most of the towns people don't give you very good advice. Well, except maybe these two gossiping women. And we find another stray spirit. We shall attach it to wind. I worry about leveling up fire soon. Alright, so some so now we're in a battle. Now here's how battles work. You have a limited um field of space um to walk around in. Well we can't do anything right now so uh, we can select an element. Let's use fireball. So he, I attack him, he attacks me, move around some more, find a good spot. Let's see if I can launch, um, I can launch a rock at him. And yeah, just barely. Whoa. Alright, let me stand back a little. Wind cutter. Apparently that's hurting him a bit more. Now when he's flashing, I can simply hit him with my staff. So I'm going to get myself beaten up if, I don't, if I'm not careful. Let's use a water pillar. He's apparently very weak to that element. And we get to select another element. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to level up the fire element. I mean, healing isn't too important in this game, and I want the treasure chest. Also, there's no money in this game, but you you will see shops. They'll give you an item as long as you don't already have that item in your inventory. So that like, um, adds to the difficulty of this game. Let's go ahead and advance the storyline, shall we? So that is a bad thing. First, the Tail book. Yeah, that's the name of the book. The Tail book disappears. Um, and so and now so does Bart. And this is where we start on our journey in Quest sixty four. So we're going to be searching out two things. One will be the book that. The, that was stolen, and second thing, and we're gonna be looking for dad throughout the time. All right. Beginning of the game is always a little plot heavy, and people tell you stuff of importance.
So there was something, oh yeah, level, um, getting experience in this game is not the same as in other RPGs. It depends on what actions you do on the battlefield. Like, um, say HP, I, I don't remember exactly how you increase HP and MP. I guess it has to do with uh, monsters you defeat and how you do it. Uh, but don't quote me on that. I'll fix that later. Agility is how much you run around the battlefield. Defense is how m increases on how many times you get hit by monsters. Actually, no. I think H. No. I think HP has to do with um, how many times you hit with your staff. MP would be how many times you hit with magic spells. Yeah, there we go. Now, Spirit Gemstones is pretty new to this game. I don't um, remember exactly what they do, but we'll find out later. And people have stuff to say. Nothing here. It's probably Brian's room, because there's a mailbox in front of it. Nothing here either. Maybe I'll play the N64 version one day. Alright, so that's the chapel. Look and see if there are any more treasure chests around. Uh, I know there's at least two more. One's over here, on the courtyard. So it's very important to get new spirits because it, when you get new um, spirits, they'll increase the power of your elements, and you get to learn new spells, and you'll be a lot more beastly when you collect more spells. And then we have this guy. Okay, Pat will give you fresh bread if you run out. So let's go ahead and head, head to uh, Melroad City. Now, the inn should be open by now. See if um, there ain't there's anything upstairs. Cause you never know. Okay, is there any in the third room? Like anyone talk to you? No. All right. So, will this guy give me anything? No, he's just being who he is. Anyway. The this is Amy Zero One signing out for now. Next time we meet, we're going to go explore the countryside. I'll see y'all next video.